Good afternoon, Yums A. Our third lesson for today is all about fad and a trend. Are you ready? If you are, then let's proceed with the next slide. Fad and trend. These are perceptible changes in behaviors that can be seen or felt among a large section of the population with the behavior being followed with enthusiasm for some time. Fad and trend are two terms that are very liable to be confused because they are pretty much alike. There are people who use the words interchangeably as if they were synonymous. But really, there is a great similarity between a fad and a trend is that they are both attractive. It generates a, lot, a large group of audience that would follow either the fad or a trend. But what makes them differ? Fad is short-lived, meaning it doesn't last a long time. It is transitory or quick, meaning it's just present for a few months and then it vanishes quickly. It affects only particular group of people. Do you remember the Gangnam style where it was very popular for a certain period of time and then completely nobody is dancing on Gangnam style. No, it just became popular in Korea, then it became popular in the Philippines, in other Asian countries, in certain parts of the world, and then now even in Christmas programs, they are not dancing the Gangnam style anymore. So it's short-lived. And also fads fade, meaning it became popular, no? totally unpredictably popular, and the longevity is not that long. It is here now and then gone tomorrow. It is what applies to a fad. It would be better to term it as a flash in the pan. For most people, it is fun to be part of the craze and they feel good not only to use the fad but also give it to others for the purpose of gift. How about a trend? A trend has a longer lifespan compared to a fad, meaning it lasts longer it also gets stronger over time as the years pass many people are doing it or using it and then it endures with or without publicity say for example the use of cell phone even if it's not advertised you know even children know this already so it it becomes became a trend the use of cell phone became a trend and then it is accepted by wide audience it's not only for a specific group of people say for example Filipinos say for example Koreans no a trend encompasses a global scale that is a trend so I hope you get the similarities and differences between a fad and a trend so let us have a brain teaser so in here I will be flashing certain oh, certain devices or certain inventions or materials and then all you have to do is to identify whether it is it is a trend or a fad okay just thumbs up if it's a trend and thumbs down if it's a fad. All right, let's begin. Loom bands, is it thumbs up or thumbs down? The answer is, it's thumbs down. Why? Because loom bands were very popular in a short amount of time. You know, there are only certain group of people, particularly the teenagers, who became the audience of these loom bands and now, you cannot see loom bands even in market so it's a fad it lasts only a short period of time how about rising of overseas filipino workers is it thumbs up or thumbs down 
The answer is thumbs up. Why? Because up to this day, many people or many Filipinos are going abroad to work or to find greener pastures. So it, it never stopped. Rather, it continues to grow. So that lasts a longer time. So it's a trend. Next, Tamagotchi. Is it thumbs up or thumbs down? The answer is thumbs down. Okay, Tamagotchi became popular in the year 1990s. No, I was born in 1993. Now, when I grew up, I learned how to use Tamagotchi. But now, you cannot see Tamagotchi no, in, in the Philippines. Perhaps there are parts of the country that are still using or that are Tamagotchi are present in certain parts of the Philippines, but not all. Okay, and some of you may not know about Tamagotchi, so meaning it only lasted for a short period of time, so it's thumbs down, it's a fad. And the last one is leather shoes. Is it a fad or a trend? The answer is, it's a thumbs up, it's a trend. Why? Because even up to this day, when you're wearing your uniforms or you go to work, you know, or you go to certain ceremonies, special occasions you are using leather shoes okay so it never stopped leather shoes are still present today so it's a thumbs up it's a trend so i hope you got the the differences and similarities between a fad and a trend so if you did then let's proceed with the next one exercise three Using the Venn diagram, write the similarities and differences of a fad and a trend. An example was done for your reference. So here, we have a Venn diagram. So in the outer circles, I want you to write the differences. So the outer circles, they are the differences. So in a fad, it's a popular for a short time. And in a trend, it's popular for a longer time. And in the center, the middle circle, I want you to write the similarities between a fad and a trend. Alright, so if you're done with this, then uh, let's proceed with the next slide. Exercise 4. Classify the following items as trends or fads. Be sure to explain your reason or reasons for categorizing them. For example, Twitter and Facebook. Alright, so what do you think? Is it a trend or a fad? If you think Twitter and Facebook is a trend, then write your reasons here. If you think Twitter and Facebook is a fad, write your reasons here. So I want you to pause this video or take a screenshot of this part of the video and then you can answer. Alright, so if you're done answering, then let's proceed with the next. So here is what uh, I call the reflection diagram. So I want you to indicate the things you have learned in this lesson. All right? So it talks about your knowledge, the things you learned. Okay? Knowledge. The things you have realized and appreciated. So that's your attitude. Okay? Attitude. And the things you have discovered, that is your skills. Okay, the things that you have discovered and the things you wanted to learn more. And that is your curiosity. Curiosity. Alright, so if you're done with this, I want you to take a screenshot of this part so you can answer. And then, thinking about thinking. Give the meaning of the following terms according to your own understanding. So I do not want you to copy your answers on your module or you copy an answer based on what I have discussed just now in this video but I want you to write your own understanding on what these terms mean so you can answer either in English or Filipino whatever language you most preferred in using as long as it's original and it is based on your own thinking otherwise I will mark it wrong 
And then the letter B, I want you to differentiate the following concepts based on your own understanding. So I want you to be original with your answers. And if you're done with this, then let's proceed with the next one, thinking beyond. So if you were to set or create a trend, what would it be and why? No, just be creative. What trend would you like to make popular? Is it something you wear? Is it something you eat? Is it something you use? So whatever that is, you write a short essay about it and support it with reasons. And after you're done with this, then you can fill out the Google form today, Monday, or tomorrow, Tuesday, or the next days, Wednesdays, and Thursday, uh, because the deadline will be on Friday. So I want you to pass all your materials, especially those who who have the printed learning materials distributed uh, last time. Now I want you to pass that as a hard copy with your answers on it. Okay? So, thank you so much for listening in this video. I hope you understood our lesson for today. Good luck and keep safe. God bless everyone.